Hi guys and welcome to another Train Sim 2019 video. Today we're on the virtual district line. Um, we are driving a scenario that's available on my website actually. Funnily enough. <laughs> um, this is a sort of replacement run. I'll go into sort of the details of it as we sort of get going. Let me just turn Facebook off there otherwise that's going to keep pinging. Um, so it says, hello driver, today we'll be driving trains between Barons Court and Ealing Broadway using 73 stock as district line track work resulted in buses replacing Richmond and Wimbledon trains and Piccadilly line trains replacing the Ealing Broadway trains. Good luck, there won't be many trains due to the works. Okay, so it's just a, a good fun scenario this one for the virtual district line and that, that's something that I always quite enjoy having. So it gives us a chance to drive something we don't get to usually drive, which is always nice. Right, it is. Control Shift S, let's get the doors open. Let's get our lights on. And excellent, we should be ready to go when those doors are closed. I am using the joystick to drive this, it does make it a little bit more fun, I suppose. And I'm still rubbish at driving tube stock. Really rubbish at driving tube stock. After the stream of the S8 the other day, I'm, I'm hoping to perfect my skills a little bit with that. I still love this route for a freeway route that is just out there and available. Yes, it, it has a few requirements, but it, it just it, tick, it tickles me. I can literally give it, go for a little drive, doing some underground stuff that's very different to sort of train simulators norm, and I really like it. The stock that's included with this is, is fantastic for absolutely nothing, and for being made by developers that aren't like big established developers. I think it's one of those little hidden gems out there. I do hope one day to be able to host it for them, uh, just to get it out there a bit more. I mean, what I like as well is the fact that it is really, really all the way through built up. And after speaking to a couple of route builders the past couple of days, sort of one thing or another, there's pretty much makes things incredibly hard. Just trying to get on that diamond a bit before it. It's built up areas. Yes, getting big, wide, scenic bits right is key uh, to a lot of routes. Uh, but doing the built up stuff, it's also quite, a, quite very intensive on your computer, a lot of the built up stuff. And still, considering you get 50 FPS on this route, so even those with a lower end computer will be getting sort of 20 to 30. I think it's pretty spectacular. Let's be honest, you don't even have to be that into London Underground to give a, a tube train a go. It's sort of, <laughs> they're like go karts. <laughs> I love it, absolutely love it. The guys that have made these have done have done a really good job. I don't know what speed drivers are meant to approach platforms on the London ground. If you do know that, please do let me know. I always try and aim for 20 on the on the main line. Check that is kind of lining up there. I'll need to improve on that, I think. 
watching the SH stock stream the other night, you, they were having to go to the other actual side of the cab to line up properly, which is completely sort of understandable. Um, but I, I want to be able to get into my when I get it. I really want to practice knowing where it looks like I should be stopping. So route learning is going to be really important. But it's a challenge I'm willing to accept. I'd like to see what the virtual Disneyland guys are, going to, are doing with um, a lot of the new London Underground assets from London Aylesbury anyway. That would be very cool. Because JT did a good job with them. still about the same as I was before there. Yeah. A bit earlier. So if I'm lining up the monitors to that window, I reckon I should be good. And the detail on this thing, most of these switches, now as much as they're not clickable, they've actually got keyboard commands that work. And we also even have... Working destination blinds, well, LCD. I did you notice it didn't change on the front there, but it might just be in the cab. I don't mind, it's quite fun to play with. Toll lane starters in this, to be fair, which I wasn't getting the other night. There's things like World of Subways, and the World of Subways 3 was at the circle line. As much as that was nicely detailed, I never really got into it. I found the route really, 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 really repetitive. And not just like it's the circle line so you expect it to be, but like uh, the assets that are used, the, 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 each asset was quite repetitive. Let's go back and find my train now. Was that me? No, that wasn't me. This feature will be explained. That's me there. This fe that feature will be explained. To you guys. At some point soon! I do apologise, that didn't happen when I was doing it from in the cab. I think it must be from outside the cab then. Yeah. That might have some of why it's not changing on the front. See, when you're doing all this weird stuff in train sim, sometimes it really ruins you. Done. Come on, close my doors. That's it. No, that's because I pressed T again. V. 
Voila, and we go again. I also find it really weird how different routes can just have different feels to them in Train Sim. Like, sometimes, like, some of the texturing in this route isn't as good as, say, some of the really big payware guys. Because they've got more time and everything to do it. So it gives it a slightly different feel. I, I actually really like it. I actually did this scenario on stream uh, last Sunday, and it went down pretty well. It's one of those ones that's not the worst to watch as well. It's quite interesting. The end gets quite interesting as well. We have to do a little bit of shunting into the yard, and I'll make sure I set my points up correctly this time, because I didn't when I was on stream, and I probably won't when we do it on the video. One thing I really, actually, as much as I would love to say that I'd enjoy shunting on train sim, I don't. It's just really not my cup of tea. I just get this itch that everything needs to go a bit faster. I don't quite get taken in by things like shunting puzzles and things like that as well. Seven's a bit lower res, I suppose. Still stunning work. The functionality that's got into these trains is unreal. I don't know if this is as good as the T-Stock. Um, I can't say I've played with it that much. This is, I think, my first scenario in it. again.
didn't even notice that speed limit change there. Woo! Bit of excitement. Something that I really like coming in here as well. That terminating underground station is always something I've quite liked. God knows why. I keep saying underground. I mean, you know, I'm in London Underground, not we're underground. It's that big hydraulic buffer over there. What's that from? That's cool. Alright then. We need to change ends. Headlights change automatically. They do. Pretty sure it's usually a pop-up box that says it. I think I've broken it with a page up, page down thing. So I think it's Scott's that did this scenario. Thank you very much for it. I'll make sure you're linked in the description below. So you can go up to 40, then back down to 20. That's one of the things I like about the London Underground. It's not a whistle you could really ignore that, is it? If 
had it. I mean, look at some of that signal space, and it's nuts. I know they're ground signals for the yard, a lot of those. meant to open my doors here. Right, am I going to get the pop-up that's going to tell me which side it is? If not, it's just going in the sheds like it was before. Because I think somebody said you need to set the points the last time I did this, and I did it wrong. Okay, driver, shunt your train to Ealing Common Road 18A before departure. Before ending your shift. Oh no, it takes us into 18A. Excellent. We don't need to then. Whoever you were on stream, you're lying. I love the way the third and fourth rail looks in this. Oh, hang on. I, this isn't the route it took me last time, so God knows what I did. It took me into that shed the last time. I'm not meant to pass that then. Well, we did it. <laughs> right. I really enjoyed that. Hope you guys did too. Head over to alanthompsonsim.com and the, the, in the description will be the name of the scenario and a link to it. So you can head over there and have a look. Um, also, Head on over to the Facebook page if that's your sort of thing. If you like Twitch, head on over and join me on Sunday from 7pm and Wednesdays from 7pm. It's definitely more adult only. It is much more like a pub environment. So if you do not like sort of crass language and some smutty jokes every now and again, it really isn't for you. Uh, but do head on over there if that sounds like your sort of thing, along with a lot of train chat and finding out little bits and pieces and things like that. So once again, guys, thanks so much for joining me. Catch you next time.